Mm -hmm. That arbitrary arrest and detention? Yes. Mm -hmm. I just wonder how many other times that it could have taken place. Yeah. Mm -hmm. See, um, on December 31st, right. you arbitrarily arrested me and detained me. Yes. For the false accusation of violating the restraint provision of your fraudulent protection order. Yep. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And um, I could have been arrested any number of times. Ouch. Uh, since you issued the first protection order on July 11th, July 8th of 2011. Yeah. Now, when I'm under the threat of arbitrary arrest and detention, mm -hmm. I want to know all the times, yes, that I was someplace other than where I'm at. Ouch. Because the thought is right now that it was bad enough that you arrested me mm -hmm. on uh, January 4th of 2016. <laughs> But when I think about the individual that actually committed the crimes, yes, and how many other individuals could have been impersonating me, yes, I'm concerned that I'm missing out right now on what could be billions of dollars. Now, I would like to have my sons, yes, and I would like to speak to Marilyn, too, because I'm thinking that since I was at 1023 Kitchen Dick Road, right now, that I could have been arrested 10 to 15 more times. <laughs> now, eventually, it would have resulted in me being put in a mental institution. Yes. Or if you could have proved on the stand, I would end up in prison. Now, this habeas corpus in the United States of America, <laughs> I asked you for one of these, Judge. Pooch! And now I'm thinking, oh, boy.